Hi guys, Tracy here with another process video. This time I am scrapbooking using this week's sketch from Nuts About Sketches, which is a double page, but I'm using the left side only. And I'm using my Studio Calico Summer of 69 kit. And I really wanted to use that doily as the circular title part in the sketch. And, uh, and I also love the look of that yellow Studio Calico paper with the um, green that's dominant in those photos. So, and uh, also she's wearing a pinkish orangey color of a uh, t-shirt and some of the colors in this kit have that kind of not quite pink, not quite orange type of color and this chevron paper is a perfect example of that and um, it's from the October Afternoon Woodland Park collection and it is one of the papers that's included in the kit. And um, so I decided to have that band of chevron paper go across the layout even though it's not in the sketch I just thought that it would kind of ground my photos and uh, well just ground the photos <laughs> um, and so then I'm just kind of trying to figure out what other elements I'm going to use and I decided to mat my photos with this green paper which I rarely ever mat my photos but I decided to do the smaller ones the larger photo is a four by six and the two smaller ones are um, two by threes and um, yeah, the photo, the sketch actually called for larger photos. So that's part of why I, um, part of why I matted them was to increase their scale just a tiny bit. Um, decide, so after I laid down everything, I decided with that as my basic layout. And so I thought I'd glue everything down so I could get moving from there. And then I actually, after I finished laying all of these things down, I um, I actually took a very long break from this layout um, and came back later on in the day. So um, this is the point at which I got everything all set up and then I left shortly after this, the next time that you see my hands change. Um, I did know early on that I wanted to have a little cluster of tabs up there. This kit came with a whole bunch of tabs and I also had some tabs left over from previous kits and so I really like the look of them kind of all layered together. They almost look a little bit like a bunch of clouds up there and I really liked that pinked um, circle and so I just made sure that the diagonal lines went the opposite way from the direction that they go on the tabs just so that there could be some contrast and then that little bunch of stuff that you see there in the plastic sort of container is the heyday ephemera pack that is not included in the kit I got that um, a while back so I just picked out some of those chipboard sorry they're not chipboard they're cardstock actually I think they are chipboard they're a little bit heavier than cardstock um, butterflies and a couple of other elements, those banners and that sort of thing. I punched uh, using my Stampin' Up! punch that you see in my hand there. Um, I punched a border with the American Crafts Shoreline Collection paper that came in the kit. That's what that brighter orange, orangey red paper is down at the bottom. And now here I'm using my Studio Calico paper bag because I've mentioned this before. I hate when you've got a cluster of photos I, in a strong, bold, patterned paper behind them. I really don't like the look of, and this is just my own personal preference, um, I find the chevron behind those photos was really distracting and so just laying down a piece of craft paper or paper bag or whatever underneath, sometimes I do book paper, really just kind of neutralizes that and makes your photos stand out um, but you still get to appreciate the chevron background paper because it sticks out on all the other sides. So um, once I got that paper in place, here's where um, I decide on my title. So that is wax paper that I use and I use wax paper almost all, almost every time I do a title just because I, um, I don't find I'm very good with typography and I want to kind of experiment with different combinations and stuff. So, so the um, thicker, sorry, the um, 
the wax paper gives me a chance to make some mistakes and not have to pry things off my layout and that sort of thing because I'm not the greatest at this kind of stuff. These letters are really weird. Um, they're Kate gave them to me. Thank you, Kate. I love the font. Um, but they're made a little weird in that some of the letters are way smaller than other ones. So it just so happened that both of my words, go and cart, went from small to big. It w I think I would have preferred it if it was more random, like some smalls and some bigs. But um, but anyway, I don't I don't I don't mind the way it turned out. I just would have liked it to be a bit more variety. If it's going to be different sizes, it should be random. So I finally commit to the placement of those letters and I'm just going to go with them even though they're funny funny sizes. I really love the font and, and it has, I like how it's slanted and it has a bit of dynamic energy to it and it goes well with the theme of this which is, you know, the go-karts. And Olivia just loved these pedal go-karts. She got on them and we didn't think that she'd be able to even go around one loop and she just went and went and went and went. <laughs> and the amusement park we were in was not very busy so the guy running the ride just let her keep going. <laughs> And uh, boy, did she ever get her exercise that day. So I'm just adding a couple of more tabs over on the other side there. And all of most of those embellishments are from the kit. And I'm adding to it with some pieces from the Heyday um, ephemera pack. So I'll go back and tell you which is which when I show you the close-ups of these um, items. So I'm using my tiny attacher to attach two tabs together. Both of those tabs are from previous Studio Calico kits. They're not from this one. And then that look speech bubble is from this kit and so is the yellow chevron circle. And I'm just showing you there that I used dimensional pop dots underneath of the wings of those butterflies but I didn't, I only adhered them to the wings. I didn't adhere it down so that those wings Basically, it allows the wings to be folded up and they're not going to squish if I were to, you know, put that layout in a scrapbook and close it. Um, so I did pop dot the look speech bubble and the live circle it, with the banner, that cute little banner on the top of it, is also from the kit. And the blue banner that's underneath of the live circle is from the Heyday collection. Now all of these things up in the top corner here that I'm working on right now are all from the kit. All three of those tabs and then also the pinked circle as well as the, as well as the um, hexagon and the butterfly is from the heyday collection so everything except the butterfly in that top corner there is um is from the studio calico kit the summer of 69 kit so i'm just adding my office date stamp to this uh, tab and i had to do the month and date separately from the year in order for them to fit on that tab nicely and now that i've decided on placement i'm just going to glue them down and i ended up gluing them down differently than how they had arranged them but that's okay sometimes i spend all this time figuring things out and then I take them off to glue them and forget where they all go. So <laughs> sometimes I'll take a picture if it's really important to me but oftentimes I just play it by ear. I'm um, gonna put that little flare badge over on the side there and um, playing with the idea of adding a third butterfly because I've got two butterflies on there already and now I'm just putting that uh, flare badge on there that came with the kit. And now these are some tickets that are in a group of borders that Michelle sent me. Michelle is M. Mac Kent here on YouTube. And um, I really liked how those tickets kind of fit with the amusement park theme of this layout. And so I'm going to put those te those tickets in two different places. I decided with uh, those two, the bottom of one two by three and the top of the other two by three. And then I moved that butterfly over to the side. I like that triangle of clusters a little bit better than having um, than having the butterfly because I knew I was going to make a smaller cluster around that butterfly. I wanted to spread it out a little bit further away from the other cluster and to make it a bit more of a triangle. 
So I am going to do some, well, I'm doing some outlining around the edges of this, just a single line, which is different than what I usually do. I went slower so that that single line would be a little bit bolder, and I used a 0.08 pen for that, and then I went back on the um, chevron paper with a 0.05, and I did a triple line on those. Um, and now I'm just adding a couple of things. Those are some price stickers from the dollar store that I really love the colors of. They're yellow and red and I've had them in my stash for a while and I haven't had a time to use them so I kind of forgot about them for a while so I pulled them out to use them here. And then I wanted to bring some something red down to this element, uh, down to this cluster here. And so I just put Olivia's initial there, just the, the little O with brackets around it, more just because I wanted something red and uh, I wanted it to match the other red on it. So I just pulled something from the same stickers. And then those are some clear sequins that I picked up at the hobby shop that's really close to my work, which is a little... Um, um, tempting for me because I'm trying to go on a spending freeze but anyways um, they were 89 cents for a whole bunch of them so I thought that was a pretty good deal and they're really different from other more metallic sequins that I have they have that iridescent look to them and they're clear and they just add a little something really nice to this layout and I think it will add something nice to other layouts too so so here is the close-up of this top cluster with all of those tags, those tabs um, layered together and you can see my little price sticker. <laughs> it's a little random to have a little price tag on there but I really do like the color of the, and I also like the font of the word price so um, so yeah. Uh, here's the other cluster with the butterfly peeking out and the um, and the little uh, initial of O and then I just put a little a couple of things in this corner here and I'm gonna show you the really pretty doily oh my god I wish I had more than three of those those are so pretty I do have more doilies in my stash though so now that I've had a chance to work with doilies with this kit I'm gonna be all over doilies for a while there's the other tags, tabs, I keep calling them tags, and you'll notice I didn't take the little knobbies off of any of the die cuts. Um, I just kind of, I thought about doing it, and then I just thought, I don't know if anybody notices that but me, so I thought I'd do a layout and just leave them on and see if it makes a huge difference. I don't think it makes a huge difference. Anyways, thanks for